Right then guys, how's it going and welcome to your FA Cup quarter-final predictions where you guys take on me to see who can get the most correct scores for this weekend's quarter-final games. But before we get into that, we'll take a quick look at the predictions from last weekend, which was for the Premier League football. I didn't do very well at all. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I got no correct scores. I got the Crystal Palace Brighton game score the wrong way around. Brighton 1-2-1. One, one. I went 1-1 one, one in the Newcastle Everton game when I was sitting there at half time when Newcastle were losing 2-0. I wasn't very happy, but when Newcastle came back and won 3-2, yeah, it was a it was a good game in the end. Um Chelsea Wolves, I went for the Chelsea win and then Chelsea drew in the last minute from a Hazard goal 1-1. One, one. And then Arsenal Man U, I bottled it a little bit and just went for the draw 2-2 two, two, and Arsenal won. 2-0. So as always, thank you to everyone who got involved and got your predictions in on the last video. I think I had 10 people who got one correct score, but only two people got one correct score and then also got a correct outcome for one of the other games. So well done to the two winners this week, James and Steve. So I'll put both of their YouTube's links down in the description below and I have subscribed to both of them so make sure you do as well and remember if you want to be shouted out in next week's video which I think will be for the international weekend so if you want to see an international weekend um, predictions video then make sure to drop a like I don't normally do them but I think I'm planning on doing one for the upcoming fixtures um, so yeah get a like get your predictions in down below for this weekend's quarterfinal games but as always We'll have a run through them now. So the first FA Cup quarter-final is on Saturday at quarter past 12 and it is Watford taking on Crystal Palace. Two Premier League sides for this one. Uh, Watford's run up to the quarter-final. They beat Walking, they beat Newcastle and they also beat uh, QPR. Uh, they're currently sitting eighth in the Premier League and their recent form... Uh, League-wise, has, has been a bit up and down. In the last five games, they've won three, lost two, and the most recently lost against Manchester City at the weekend, which is always going to be a tough game. As for Crystal Palace, their run-up to the quarter-final, they beat Grimsby, they also beat Spurs, so that was obviously a very good win, and then they beat Doncaster. Uh, their Premier League form has been similar to Watford in the last five games. They've won two, drawn one, lost two. Most recently, as I mentioned, losing against Brighton uh, at the weekend. So, as for this game, who's going to progress through to the semi-final? Obviously, there's no replays, which means there will be extra time. There will be penalties if it's still a draw at full time and at extra time. And I think this could be a pretty close game. Uh, so, I'm actually going to go 1-1 one, one, full time. And I'm going to guess that Watford are going to nick it 2-1 in extra time. But, as I say it in a lot of videos, I think this one could go either way. Next up on the Saturday at 20 past 5, we have got Swansea taking on Manchester City. So, Swansea are one of two championship teams still in the competition. And uh, Swansea's road for the quarter-final, they beat Villa... They beat Gillingham and they beat Brentford. So this weekend they are taking on their first Premier League opposition in the FA Cup. And they've got a tough one against Manchester City. Um, Swansea's form in the Championship as well hasn't been fantastic. In the last five games they've lost four and they've uh, won one. And in their most recent game, which was midweek, they lost against West Brom. So yeah, it's going to be a tough one for Swansea. As for... Manchester City, um, their road to the quarter-final, they beat Rotherham 7-0, they beat Burnley 5-0, uh, then they beat Newport County 4-1, so they've been scoring a lot of goals in, the, in this competition, and if you saw it in their Champions League game, they beat Schalke 7-0, so they're scoring a lot of goals, they're currently sitting top of the Premier League, um, and as for a prediction, it'd be good to see Swansea put in a good performance, a good game, but it's just so hard to see past Man City losing to anyone, really. So I'm going to go 3 0 Man City, continuing the high scoring games they've been having in the FA Cup. Next up again on the Saturday, but a later kickoff 
at 7.55. There's some strange times for these games. We've got Wolves taking on Manchester United. So another game with two Premier League clubs. Wolves on their run up to the quarter final of the FA Cup. They started off by beating Liverpool, which is obviously a very good win. They then beat Shrewsbury Town in a replay, and then they beat Bristol City. So, as we know, Wolves are currently sitting seventh in the Premier League. They've had a cracking Premier League season. I'm sure they'd love to add to that with, well, an FA Cup if they could, um, but to start things off getting through to the semi-final. As for Manchester United, their route to the quarter-final, they beat Reading, they then beat Arsenal, and then they beat Chelsea. So, you know, they've had a pretty tough run of games in the FA Cup so far, and they've done well to win against Arsenal and Chelsea. Obviously, man, you did lose at the weekend um, against Arsenal in the Premier League, so no doubt they're going to want to make up for that themselves and get a win to get through to the semi-final. As for a prediction, I think this is going to be a good game. I'm hoping to see some goals. I'm hoping to see a good fight from Wolves. Obviously, as I mentioned, they've been doing very well at the minute. Um, I mean, Man U have got through to the next round of the Champions League as well, so don't get me wrong, Man U are having a good season as well. I'm actually going to go all the way with this one. I'm going to go 1-1 all the way through to penalties. And I'm going to back Wolves to win on penalties. What? You've got to have a bit of magic in the FA Cup. You know, it can't just be the favourite winning every time. So that's my guess on that one. And to finish things off, we have the final quarter final, which is on the Sunday at 2 o'clock. And it is Millwall taking on Brighton. So Millwall are the other championship team still in the competition. And their road to where they are now, they beat Hull. They then beat Everton, so they've already beaten one Premier League club. Could they do it again? And then they beat Wimbledon. So they're currently sitting 19th in the Championship. Their recent form in the Championship hasn't been fantastic. In the last five games, they had lost four in a row until they beat Birmingham in the midweek. Brighton's route to the quarter-final. They beat Bournemouth, they then beat West Brom in a replay, and then they beat Derby. Um, Brighton's Premier League form recently hasn't been fantastic but as I mentioned they got a very good win at the weekend against Crystal Palace so as for a prediction on this one um, I am a big fan of the FA Cup and I love seeing some of the lower league sides get through into the later rounds and as I mentioned I did predict uh, Man City to beat Swansea and I would like to see one of the two championship teams get through to the semi-finals so I am going to back uh, Millwall to win 2-1. It's always great to have a bit of a mix rather than just a full Premier League lineup. So that's the way I'm going. Whether it's going to happen or not, I don't know. But that's my prediction. And that is it, guys. So those are my FA Cup quarterfinal predictions up there. So make sure to get yours down in the comments below. I will go through all of them before the first game kicks off on Saturday at 12.15. So you've got tonight all of tomorrow and Saturday morning to get your predictions in. And then I will shout out the winner in my international predictions video that I'm hoping to do next week. Um, and I think this is possibly the first or first for a very long time where I've done a predictions video and not mentioned Newcastle United, uh, my team, because they are playing this weekend against Bournemouth. Um, so if you do want to go ahead and tell me your prediction for that game as well, please feel free, because I know I've got a lot of Newcastle fans on the channel. I'm going to go... 2-1 Newcastle, why not? If you want to put your prediction in for that, I'll use it as a bit of a bonus um, question. If there's people drawing, I can refer to that to see who got the final uh, win. But yes, um, thank you all for watching. As always, drop a like on the video. There won't be a vlog this weekend, but I do have a video that I've been working on for ages that I'm hoping to have out on Sunday night. So make sure to look out for that, all right? Thank you all, as always, have a great weekend, and I'll catch you later.